All right, key reason number one why you should not have platelet-rich plasma injections into your scalp if you're suffering with hair loss. Suspicious lesions. If you have suspicious lesions on your scalp, either diagnosed or undiagnosed, if you've been investigated by a dermatologist because you potentially have a skin cancer or an unknown lesion on your scalp and the management is still being determined and you're still being investigated for this, or you have a melanoma on your scalp, oh, you should not have something like platelet-rich plasma. If you cause inflammation to the scalp, you can potentially muddy the waters, you could potentially mask what might be going on under the surface so it's so important that if you have suspicious lesions on your scalp you make sure that these are followed up properly with a dermatologist or your GP as a starting point and get insights from them as to what they think you should do based on a hair loss treatment program if they feel you should avoid things like PRP or microneedling in the meantime or even even topicals because they might say to you actually whilst we're still dealing with this unknown lesion or diagnosed lesion it's best that you should avoid other things so check in with your health professional if you have lesions that are undiagnosed by all means do not go jabbing needles into your scalp with PRP 